So I'm driving the other day and my AC is broken so my window is down and the delicious smell of Chick-fil-A comes pouring through my window. Now I had already eaten so I'm not going to go there but somehow I ended up in the drive-thru. <laughs> Keith, you're on a diet, I'm telling myself, so I'm not going to order anything but as this story goes, I got a 12-piece chicken nugget with fries. But at the same moment, I had to ask myself, am I in control of the decisions that I've just made or is Chick-fil-A? And I would argue that the food industry has been taking advantage of our hardwired desire for certain tastes, textures, uh, flavors for so long, driving the obesity epidemic onto two billion people in this world. So I don't like to sound like the mad scientist, but maybe it's time that we fight mind control with mind control. For right now, all we have are drugs. Drugs that attempt to turn on the region of our brain that tells us when we're full. But a drug will bathe the whole brain incidentally turning on regions we didn't intend, causing really terrible side effects. And not just that, the drug just sits there, hammering away at our brain, and eventually our neurons wear down. They stop responding. So it's really no wonder drugs don't work all that well. They're not mind control, but is there anything better? Now, a few years back, a few scientists showed the world that you could genetically encode a light-sensitive molecule into any neurons you want, effectively allowing us to activate these cells with flashes of light. Now, years later, they took fruit flies as a genetic model to show that you could use this tool to control all kinds of behaviors. You could make flies walk in circles, go to sleep, fight with each other. But I wanted to know, could you use this technique to make an animal feel full? So for months on end, I began searching through thousands of neurons, eventually finding cells that detected the stretch of the gut. And I genetically encoded one of these light sensors into those same cells and just those cells, getting rid of the spatial problem of a drug but we still needed a way to turn them on at just the right moment. So I began building a machine that would watch dozens of animals at a time. And when it noticed any individual beginning to eat, it would bathe that animal in a field of light. Now, if they didn't have the light-sensitive molecule, they seemed not to notice at all. they just keep eating. But for those who did, they would quickly retract their mouth, wipe off their legs, and just walk away from the food. <laughs> Using this technique, we showed that we could reduce the consumption of these animals by 40%. Now this is a stepping stone. This is hope that someday we can use gene therapy to encode these light sensors in our own gut stretch neurons so that we can feel full with the mere application of light, so that we can end the obesity epidemic, so that the next time you're walking on campus by that Chick-fil-A and that smell reaches out and you start walking towards it but you're not really sure why, you're just gonna turn on your light and you're gonna walk right by. Thank you.